Richard would be a good movie. The trailers have been exceptional, but you know, movies don't always deliver on their trailers. But King Richard, it's fantastic. I watched it on HBO Max, actually, and I think that, that it's it translates very well to the small screen. Uh, I don't know, I think it's gonna do pretty well in theaters because Will Smith is one of the few remaining movie stars. Uh, when he, especially when he's in the right role, and this is definitely the right role for Will Smith. More on that in a moment. Um, but I just think it's important that people see it, and it plays fantastically on HBO Max. I think it could end up being, hopefully, maybe their most, I don't know, it's not a big blockbuster, but it deserve, I think it's the best movie that they've, that for streaming that they've put on the service to date, that just plays so well there. It's so good, it's so good, it might be my favorite movie of the year. All right, so yes, King Richard is the pinnacle of Will Smith's career, a role tailor-made for him. He's a producer here, so he's, he's, Will Smith is incredibly smart, and he recognizes that this is the perfect role for him, and he's right. It showcases his greatest strengths as an actor, both in terms of his craft and also what he stood for as a celebrity. And here's where it gets really meta. Will Smith himself had a plan to make himself a movie star. He studied other movie stars just as Richard Williams studied other athletes. And like King Richard, Smith was able to execute his plan. So someday maybe somebody will make a movie about Will Smith. They should. Word in Tinseltown is, is that after two previous nominations, this will finally be Smith's Oscar win. He's chased Oscar as much as DiCaprio. And so I think we need for him to come to, for him to come home with the gold finally too. But I'd go further than that. This isn't just an Oscar vehicle for Will Smith. I think that the whole film is a strong contender for award season. I think it's a very strong contender for best picture. And I would love to see it nominated in script and directing, but I think its strongest chances in addition to best picture and best actor or maybe, I feel the Warner Brothers, and they're really pushing, they're running a very strong ad ca uh, awards campaign for this, which is basically an ad campaign. I think they could push John Bernthal for supporting, and also Anjanou uh, Anjanu Ellis. She's fantastic, very, very strong. And maybe, just maybe, uh, Sunia Sidney. I think that she could maybe be a, a awards contender. There, I, and I say not only because she's very talented in the movie, but I know she's on the awards circuit. You know, she's going to speak alongside Will Smith. Tony Goldwyn, also great, but he's basically playing Tony Goldwyn, which he's very good at, but he doesn't get to push himself as an actor like Bernthal does. That crazy accent and hair, it's a very showy role, and Bernthal does a fantastic job. He's just great. Remember how the Academy loved Green Book and a lot of you were scratching your heads over that? Well, the reason they loved Green Book was because it flipped the script on, script on Driving Miss Daisy and it allowed the Oscars to balance out their love of that film, which has not aged very well. I, in fact, recently rewatched Driving Miss Daisy and it really doesn't age well. Whew! So this flips the script on the blind side, itself an Oscar nominee for Best Picture and a winner for Sandra Bullock. So here they can write the, well, I think, you know, many people still really love the blind side, but as I said, I wouldn't call it writing a wrong, but I would call it, again, balancing things out. Because here you have a movie where Richard Williams and his family help themselves, and I think that's wonderful. And yes, the Oscars love sports movies, and this is a great sports movie. While I was watching this incredibly well-crafted film, I in fact wondered to myself, who's directing this movie? Because I had not been aware of the director, and it's so well-directed. So I looked it up, and the answer is Ronaldo Marcus Green. Who is that? Exactly. This is only his third feature. The guy comes in hot like a pro. This is an extremely slick package, top of the line Hollywood sports movie with mass appeal. And the fact that he did this with such a short resume is as almost as impressive as what he's depicting in the movie. It's incredible. No matter what happens at the Oscars, Green, Sidney, and Demi Singleton are going places after this movie, as they should. Uh, I think that Will Smith guy might stick around too. <laughs> this is great for him, obviously, and I think it's really great for John Bernthal's resume too. If I were his agent, I'd be sending this around everywhere. Go on to fall in love with John Bernthal again? You know, he works consistently for sure, but he's been kind of sidelined. This is a re another really great, like he's like he's part of the the meat of the story here, which is really important. Let's get let's get John Bernthal back in the thick of it. So to win an Oscar, a movie just can't be wildly entertaining, which this one is, 
But it has to have a message. It has to really have a message. And wow, King Richard, like the man himself, has many messages. First off, it's a moving and important illustration, the best one I've ever seen, in fact, of how vital scholarship opportunities are. Not just the talented children, but also their parents, the whole family, who come from disadvantaged communities. Like, wow, they should show this movie to, to, to boards and all different kinds of you know, organizations to make sure that they continue to have opportunities for, for people who need them. Furthermore, King Richard highlights that families are a team, a unit, and that parents, whether they like it or not, are the foundation of any child's success. Siblings are also crucial. There's so much love in this family. That's just so beautiful. On that note, what a gift to the Williams sisters who are executive producers of this movie, and they have actual footage of them and their father at the end, and they show you how good a job they did, um, you know, recreating it. Uh, but they've been able to give their father back such a wonderful gift after what he's done for them. And to see love and respect between parent and child go both ways is very, very moving. And they also show some the ugly side of parents, you know, trying to have prodigy children. And any parent who wants to push their child to succeed in any area could definitely learn from this movie and Richard Williams. And King Richard's no saint, by the way. He has his own limitations, uh, many of them tragically because of his own disadvantages, you know, growing up. Uh, you know, the movie is very real as to who he is, you know, warts and all. The movie knows that, and it's clear that Richard Williams knows that. And that makes his story all the more compelling, relatable, and inspirational. You know, this is real. King Richard's is a fantastic film, and it's able to highlight the complexity and reality of everything involved, including the things that aren't so great, so, some of the things that are downright horrible. From Richard Williams to the sport of tennis, to the industry of tennis, to the immense pressure on athletes. There are a lot of things that are talked about now that you can see, you can understand better watching this movie. You're like, oh, I see, I get it. Really fascinating. It's really good. But still has an overall positive feeling to it, like Richard Williams himself. You can recognize the negative, that, but that doesn't mean it needs to drown you, which I think is Richard Williams very much you know, what he stands for, and it's what the movie about him stands for. And that's really wonderful. What a great, another, that's another great lesson for people to take away from this. It's just, it's, 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 it highlight, I mean, I think that some movies could have been very negative about this. It's funny to contrast this with I, Tanya. Um, when I reviewed I, Tanya, I compared Tanya Harding, who obviously is, you know, a, a criminal individual, but she changed her sport just like the Williams sisters changed their sport by being true athletes. You know, that was new to both women's figure skating and women's tennis. Like, just real, like, you know, like amazing athletes. And um, I, Tanya, perhaps because of what Tanya Harding did, you know, painted everything in a very negative light, where this, I think, shows that tennis had a place to grow and that the William, I mean, you can see that the William sisters love the tennis industry and they love the sport of tennis. And even though it was not welcoming to them when they first showed up, uh, that they didn't allow that to harden them and they have just uh, fixed the problems. So I thought, I mean, it's just really fantastic. Then finally, another one of my favorite messages in the film, and this one is, I think, perhaps, perhaps the most important, and that's that you should always treat other people with respect. I really loved that. You don't know someone else's story, you should never, and you should never assume that you do. The number of people who turned down helping Richard Williams at the beginning of the movie without even seeing his daughter's play is mind-boggling. It's tragic, and I hope that anyone who sees this movie learns not to make the same mistake. It's, you know what it reminds me of? Another great inspirational sports story, Ted Lasso. Remember that fabulous quote from season one, be curious, not judgmental? I think this is in very much in the same vein. Ted Lasso went on to be a big awards winner and was embraced by audiences. King Richard deserves the same fate. And not, not only because I think it's one of the best sports movies of all time, but because it's a true story. Ted Lasso is a fantasy to some degree. It's, you know, it's inspirational in that it's, we should aspire to make that a reality. But what Richard Williams and what Serena and Venus Williams did is true. It actually happened, and that makes it all the more extraordinary. I love this movie. I might watch it again tonight. All right, share your thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.